Ivan Van Sardeman. Dr. Ivan Van Sardeman was born January 26, 1935 in Carina Village, Guyana, South America. At the time of his birth, Guyana was a British colony. This made him a citizen of Britain, which he maintained throughout his life. He spent his early educational years learning at schools in Guyana. After completing his primary and secondary education, he began attending the School of Oriental and African Studies at the University of London in 1959. As a young student, Dr. Van Sardema developed a love for writing by writing poetry. Those writing skills would help him as he studied creative writing in college. In 1969, Dr. Van Sardema would earn an undergraduate degree with honors in African languages and literature from the University of London. Between 1957 and 1959, he learned to speak Swahili and Hungarian. He also worked as a press and broadcasting officer with the Guyana Information Services. Dr. Van Sertema would later become a broadcast journalist in London during the 1960s, broadcasting to Africa and the Caribbean. He also completed and published a dictionary of Swahili legal terms in 1967. Dr. Van Sertema immigrated to the United States in 1970 and enrolled into the University of Rutgers to complete his graduate studies. By completing his graduate studies, Dr. Van Sertema published his book, They Came Before Columbus, in 1976. This book gives information about the African origins of ancient American culture. In 1977, he earned his master's degree from Rutgers University. He also became an associate professor of African studies. In 1979, he founded the Journal of African Civilizations, which he managed to maintain for at least a decade. Dr. Van Sertema published his article, The Lost Sciences of Africa, an overview in 1983 which discussed early evidence of high culture and civilization in ancient Africa. In 1999, he published his essay for the volume, African Renaissance, covering the science contributions of Africa. In July of 1987, Dr. Van Sertema testified before a United States Congressional Committee opposing Christopher Columbus's discovery of America. As Dr. Van Sertema's popularity grew, so did his critics. During the late 1990s, he was openly criticized by academics and researchers who disagreed with his information. They discredited his book and work, claiming he promoted false information. Clarence Wink, an associate archaeologist, wrote a letter to the New York Times in support of Dr. Van Sertema's work. In 1981, his book that came before Columbus earned the Clarence L. Holt Literary Prize. In 2004, Dr. Van Sertema was inducted into the Rutgers African American Alumni Hall of Fame. In 2009, at the age of 79, Dr. Van Sertema died but he will always live through his rich legacy. He used his time and resources to educate the African world about their rich history in the Americas. He wanted black people to know that their history in this hemisphere started thousands of years before Columbus was born. He wanted people to know that according to his findings, the first Native Americans were African people. He understood the value of knowledge of self. Dr. Ivan Van Sertema, we proudly, proudly stand on your shoulders.